In this video, we're going to show how you can use Langsmith to easily collect data sets. So one of the most tedious parts about getting your LingChain application or LLM powered application ready for production is having a large enough data set that you can test it against so that you, you can be confident that over a variety of tens, maybe hundreds or thousands of inputs, your chain or agent performs the quality that you expect before you can push it live in the hands of your users or customers. And so data set collection is really important and we make that a little bit more pain-free in Langsmith. So think about a data set as perhaps runs that are good or your golden data sets where you have inputs and outputs that you think are appropriate, that if your chain or agent did that in production, that would be a good response. Or maybe you have problem data sets where you know your chain or agent doesn't perform well on these inputs. And as you're iterating, you want to see if it can handle these inputs better. So let's try to do the first one where we have successful runs and we're going to collect them in a data set. So I just did a filter right here on successful runs. You can easily batch up all of the successful runs that we've had so far, which is 15 and we're going to add it to a data set. And I'm going to create a new data set name, um, calling it uh, Planetary Successful Data Set. And I've given it a description already of Planetary Data Set Example. And this is a key value just inputs and output tuples that I'm going to, to keep. And I see a preview here of the first run of how big is a black hole in miles divided by the di diameter of Earth in miles. And the output that I'm saying is a reasonable output is stored here. I'm going to create that data set. And when I go to this data set, uh, we can see that they've all been, been saved here, these inputs and outputs of runs. Uh, ready to be tested against. And we make it very easy to collect data sets. You can do it in a number of ways in Langsmith. You can uh, add your own examples here, just manually typing in uh, inputs and outputs. You can upload a CSV file uh, to uh, add more examples, and you can also uh, do it programmatically. And one of the nice things that we also make possible about data sets is you can share them. So uh, perhaps you have done the hard work of collecting data sets and you want a different part of your team uh, to have access to it. You can make it uh, public uh, so that people have this URL and they can go exactly to this data set um, and then they can export it uh, or, or use it however they'd like. But really collecting a lot of data sets uh, is the first thing that you need to do in order to do further evaluation, which we will show uh, in a separate video.